The world of finance and economics is complicated as is. And now, there's digital money in the mix, making it even worse. Bitcoin is everywhere in the news lately, from hacks to hearings and everything in between. According to some estimates, over 16 million Americans buy and sell Bitcoin frequently and over 100,000 merchants and vendors worldwide accept it as payment. Did you know that you can pay for that trotter's meal with it? But there are still a lot of questions about Bitcoin, starting with, what is Bitcoin anyway? So, here is everything you ever wanted to know about Bitcoin but didn't want to ask your tech-loving early adopter friend. Bitcoin is the world's biggest cryptocurrency. Okay, so what is the cryptocurrency, you might ask? Well, a cryptocurrency is digital money. Plain and simple, it's a virtual medium of exchange, not issued by, backed by, or tied to any nation or government. More on this later. It was introduced in 2009 by a mysterious person or persons who went under the name Satoshi Nakamoto Hayao and is the longest-standing, best-known, and most widely traded cryptocurrency. Generally, Bitcoin with a capital B means the software and the system. Bitcoin with a lowercase b means the actual money. For a while, cryptocurrency was thought of as just a hobby for computer programmers and gamers. You know, those nerdy types and them. Oh gosh, man, don't fight them, no? Anyway, recently it's drawn the interest of investors, banks, and governments who wonder if it might start competing with traditional currencies. But is that enough to qualify as a currency? Not so fast. Money is based on trust. You trust that this dollar has value because the government says it does. They have given you that assurance. And this assurance has been validated by other governments and financial institutions around the world. But cryptocurrency is unique in that there are no centralized powers, no governments or banks to enforce its value or track its accounting. So how does it work then? Well, every single Bitcoin transaction is added to an encrypted ledger called a blockchain that is shared publicly on thousands of computers all over the world. The entire Bitcoin network relies on the blockchain. All confirmed transactions are included in the blockchain in chronological order. It allows Bitcoin wallets to calculate their spendable balance so that new transactions can be verified, thereby assuring they're owned by the spender. The integrity and the chronological order of the blockchain are enforced with cryptography. Yes, cryptography. That's where the crypto in cryptocurrency comes from. More on cryptography in part two. Updating this blockchain involves solving a special math problem which takes a lot of computer power. Bitcoin miners, the people who create and update this blockchain, are rewarded for their work with shiny new bitcoins, each imprinted with the whole history of bitcoin transactions since the blocking began. It's like having a dollar bill with a written record on it of everywhere it's ever been and everywhere every other dollar bill has ever been. No one can counterfeit bitcoin because everyone knows exactly how much everyone else is supposed to have. So how do you store and spend your bitcoins? Is there any actual physical money? Well, even though there are a handful of Bitcoin ATMs in the world, Bitcoin is not a physical currency. A Bitcoin wallet is loosely the equivalent of a physical wallet on the Bitcoin network. The wallet contains private keys which allow users to spend the Bitcoins allocated to it in the blockchain. Each Bitcoin wallet can show you the total balance of all Bitcoins it controls and lets you pay a specific amount to a specific person, just like a real wallet. And that's it for this episode of Money Talks. 